Highly welcome my dear brothers and sisters out there. I'm glad that you just clicked in or to watch today's message. Today I'll be talking on a very important topic and that is the signs in heaven and on earth. So we are going to be seeing what are the signs in the heavens and the signs right here on earth so that we can be able to do what get the concrete understanding of these passages of the scripture which I'm about to bring to you now you know because there is what deep revelations of things in these passages and now if you are ready let's go to the book of Genesis chapter number one I want to start there to show you the things that are rightly in the scripture you know which will give us an insight and understanding of things what the signs are you know because you need to understand when Bible talks about signs and wonders so these are things that are being put that makes people to you know wondering a kind of you know how is this thing going to be put? how is this thing possible you know that state of mind you know whenever people see a certain things they, they feel like how is this thing possible how did the sun how is it possible that the sun will be in the up there how is it possible that the moon will be mounted up there how is it possible and all these things you know so these things are what signs and wonders for reasons so this is what I'm going to be doing today you know in order to do what to give you a higher revelation of things that are in the scripture so that you can really see it the way it is supposed to, to be seen let's go into the book of Genesis chapter number one let's start reading from verse number 14 he said and Allah said let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years this is what the purpose of this is he said let them be for signs for seasons for days and for years so these things that the Elohim are creating now are going to be what for signs and where are they going to be for signs in the heavens listen to what the word said he said here and Allah him and let them be for lights so they are going to be for signs and what and oh, for wonder that is for signs for season for years and for days and also they are going to be what they are going to let them be for lights they are going to be giving light to the earth listening to, to, to the Bible say and let them be for light in the firmament so they are where they are they are going to be what they are going to be light in the firmament of heaven to give light on the earth listen it said in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and Allah him made two great lights the, the greater lights to rule the day which is the Sun and the lesser lights to rule and the lesser night light to rule the night talking about the moon and he made the stars also which are all these ones now are what are in the firmament of heavens and their purpose was to give light to what's to the earth you understand it so the most high Allah made this science in the heaven which is the Sun the moon the stars the greater lights the greater lights to rule the day which is the sun the lesser lights to rule the, the day and the night which is the moon and what he made the stars also so which are your stars which is the stars there you get it so and the purpose of these things what is to be what is to be for signs for seasons for years for days to do what to give light to be what light in the firmament of heaven so that it can give light to the earth you understand it so now these are what this is what I want you to understand that these are first what 
the signs that are in the heavenly places. These things were being put there on the fourth day to do what? To serve these purposes. So now we've seen the lights, that is to say the signs that are in the heavenly places. Now on this earth, what are the signs that are being that that the most high gave here on earth? You know, because we are seeing the signs that are in the heavens very clear. You know, you can see the sun, you can see the moon, you can see the stars. These are all what signs that we are being put in this world in the firmament of heaven. So, but right here on earth, what are the signs that are right here? You know, because what you need to understand about sign is some things that you know that keeps the so-called these them sorcerers, these them scientists, you know, marveling, you know, things that makes them to think, how is this possible? You know, because you see them scientists, you know, when they see at, you know, when they look at the moon, they see it as what they see it as something, an artificial thing, you know, that was being put in that places in order to block a certain light from shining into the earth. So this thing to them, it is something that is, how is this possible? They don't know how the sun was being put in those places. They don't know how the moon was being set in the place where it is. So these things, you know, keeps them in a place whereby they are, you know, they are imagining what is going on. How did these things happen? You get it? You know, because these things are what are for science. You, what you need to oversee, you see the, the sun, the moon, the stars, the sun and the moon, they are doing what they are blocking a certain light from what from penetrating, that is to say, shining directly into the earth. So what the sun is doing is doing, is reflecting a light into what? Into the earth. So this science, so-called scientists, all these them sorcerers, they know exactly what, you know, what is going on? Because when they look at the sun, they know that this sun itself does not have its own light, but rather it's, it gets light from what from different you know from different sources in order to do what to you know in order to 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 be what it is. You get it. But the but the light itself is not his. That is is not the sun. The light that you you need you're seeing is not what is not from the sun itself the sun is simply reflecting light but this light that is reflecting this sun gets it from different you know sources so these things puts these people in what in a state whereby you know they think and they, they, they marvel they say how is these things possible you know some of these them scientists you see them they talk about you know that um the moon is an artificial um space ship you know these things, you know, are the things which they see. They see, you know, they've calculated certain things and they have seen it to, to be, uh, you know, they've seen it to their own amazement. They see, ah, uh, this thing is what is an artificial spaceship, for example, which was being put in what? In the cosmos there. So these things keep their mind, you know, rotating. How is this possible? So these things are what these things are signs. But what I'm telling you is, these signs are just minute because these ones are what the ones in the heavenly places. So we are going to be talking about the signs that are here on earth, which also gives them, you know, which have also collapsed them. They don't know where to start again with the signs that are in the earth. And I'm going to be showing you the signs that are on in the earth here. Because the signs in the heaven already had already paralyzed all of them. They can bring all their theory. They try to do. They try to see how possible these things are, and and these things keep on frustrating a lot of them. You get it? Why? Because they cannot imagine. They have tried. They have, you know they have been doing what they are doing in order to see, in order to you know get to think and reason. How is that those things possible? How is the moon possible? That you know that these things is going to be. This thing that is a spaceship, how was it put up there? How was the moon, how was the sun 
being mounted up there. How was the stars made? All these things are things that keep them, you know, in a state whereby they've been asking, a, you know, it's what is a sign. It's something that has got them. It's something that is a wonder to them in the heavens. So now we are talking about, now let's talk about the signs and wonders that are on the earth. Because you know that these ones now that are in the heaven, they, they supersede their knowledge. They, they don't know where to start. And in the earth also, there is much signs and words and wonders that are here, which they don't know how to begin with. They don't know where to begin with. Because the one in the heaven supersedes them. And now the ones in the earth also supersede them because they don't know where to start with. Talking about all of them, all these them scientists, all these them people who think they know something, who are trying to use their sorcery in order to discover and see the things that the Most High is created. Go with me so that we can be able to see the signs that are here on earth. Remember what I told you, that the signs in the heavens, you see them sun, you see the moon, you see them stars, these things are what are the signs that are in the heavens because all these them scientists they are what they are they've been para they are paralyzed they don't know where to start from because these things what supersede all kind of knowledge which they have they don't know where to start with so we are talking about that that is what that are the signs in the heavens so right now let's go to the signs on earth so follow with me right now let's go to the book of Jeremiah, my dear brothers and sisters out there, the book of Jeremiah, I want us to, to take it, you know, one after another so that we can be able to understand it. So right now we are here on earth, just here, so that we can be able to see the signs that are here on earth. Jeremiah chapter number 32, from verse number 20. So it says there, let's start reading from verse number 19. It says, Great in counsel and mighty in work, in work, for thine eyes are upon all the ways of the sons of men. So give everyone according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. In verse 20. Which has set signs hmm, and wonder. Which have set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt hmm. even until this day I want you to understand something here we're going to continue there my dear listener out there you, you did you see what the Bible say right there he said that what he has said signs and wonders something that baffles all these people who call themselves scientists where did the Most High put these signs and wonders? This wonders now. Where did he put it in? He set the sign, the Bible tells us, in what? In the land of what? Of Egypt. Now listen to what? In the land of Egypt, even until this day. And if you're with me, I want to show you and tell you what those, what those, what, what those signs and wonders are. So the wonders is what I want to bring to you now first to show you what the wonders, you know, what baffles all these them scientists because they've been looking at the sun, like I said, they've been looking at the moon and they've seen all those in the stars. They see that, that there is too much mysteries up there. And now on the earth also, there is what there is a sign that is in the land of what of Egypt. I'm talking about ancient Kemet. Because the Bible makes us to understand that out in, until this day, that wonders, that signs are what are there. So it's talking about what? Talking about this time around, the signs that are in Egypt is talking about this them pyramid you see there. You get what I'm saying? You know, because what you need to understand is a lot of all these them scientists, a lot of all these them people who try to go and exploit ancient things. They know the mystery that is what that is in that ancient Mitraim. They know the mystery that is in the building, in the making of what of that pyramids that are what in the land of Egypt. Because, for example, you know, those things are things that put these people into what into, into a wandering mode. They'll be like, what is
is going on? How did these people build such a mighty, gigantic, what civil, you know, thing in what in that place? They are being carried in a way, you know, this is a wondrous thing, you know, this is something that they cannot be able to do or to phantom how these things were being what we are being made. Take for example, take for example, how is this giant stone that is weighing tons of tons of what of, of, of weight? How was it? How is it possible that it was being taken from this low level to the other up level? How is it that there were even lights, electricity in what in the pyramid that was being built thousands of years before this time in the ancient Kemet? So these people they know, you know, this is this is to them it is it, it is what it is a wonder. They don't know where to start with. This is what this is a sign, and this is what these are wonders in what in the land of what if Egypt until today. So, my dear listener, out there, what I want you to understand is I'm just showing you first the signs and the what the wonders, and now I'm going to tell you and also show you what is what what is the sign because it is going to give you an insight. Listen to what the book the book said the same. Even until this day, and in Israel among and among other men and has made thee a name as at this day so you see that what that this sign is going to be what the sign is going to be among Israel but the the wonders is what is in the land of Egypt so we need to understand now what are the signs that are what in the land of what Israel what is it that is the sign that is in the what in the land of Israel? Because we say that what that the sign that is in Egypt is what is the building of that pyramid, and that pyramid is a pyramid that gives them you know that marvels them or they don't know how these things happened. Something that was being built thousands of years ago, and you go inside of this damn pyramid, you see an electric bulb, you see electricity right there. And it is something that was being built thousands of years ago. You go into it, you know, you see mighty, mighty, you know, um, stone that was being carried from the floor bed, you know, to the highest level. And they be like, you know, how is these things possible even till today? They don't know this thing. They don't know nothing about those things, that, how those things came to be. These are wonders. These are things that were being, you know, these are things that is, you know, to them, you know, it is deep. They can handle it. This is the most I put those things there for what for signs and for wonders. Now I'm going to be showing you. You remember what I told you? The signs which he gave them, he gave it to them in Israel. But the wonders which you're seeing is what is all these them pyramids that are what that is, you know, that, that they don't know how to start up with. You get it? When I talk about I talk about different pyramids, you know, but let's just talk about that pyramid Giza. You get it? The way you see what the way you see the construction of it and everything, you know, that puts all these them people, all these them so-called scientists, all these them sorcerers into what into they don't know how these things came to be. This is what wonder. Now, what are the signs in Israel? Because remember what it says. It says here that even unto this day, and in Israel, that is to say, also in Israel, there is what there are signs and there are wonders in Israel. Not only in Egypt. So now in is in Egypt, I've already shown you the sign, the, the wonders there, which makes them to, to, to marvel. Now in Israel, what are the what what are the signs? You need to do what you need to follow me so that I can be able to show you what the signs is in what in Israel. Go with me into the book of Isaiah to show you what the sign is in what in the land of what of Israel, in the land of Israel. The book of Isaiah. I want to show you something there very important my dear listener out there Isaiah chapter number 7 let's start reading from verse number 14 he said therefore the master Elohim himself shall give you a sign behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel so you see that what that there's going to be a virgin mm -mm -mm. This is what this is the sign because remember what I told you that there is what there is a kind of you know they are trying to figure out how the how did the, the pyramid how was it built 
They don't know how it happened. They cannot be able to do what their whole scientists cannot be able to know exactly how those things will be made. And now we are seeing another mystery, another sign coming up this time around in Israel. And what is the sign that a virgin, somebody who has not known a man before, is going to be pregnant and is going to give birth to us, to somebody. I mean, this is what this is another deep mystery. Because we are talking about something that, that is what that is absolutely to them. How is this thing going to be possible? You know, this is another sign that what that a virgin, somebody who has not known a man, is going to take in and is pregnant. So this is what this is a deep sign. This is what another mystery that is going to do what that is going to. It's going to turn them into what into crazy. They are going to be what they are. This is deep. So this sign is what is something that supersedes every that brings everything that they have ever known into what into zero. This is what this is a deep mystery. How a virgin he don't know no man. He don't know no woman. He don't know no man, and he don't do. You know he has never been with no man. And now he is she she's 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 now pregnant. How did this happen? Let's go into the book of Matthew. I want to show you what the word say there in the book of Matthew, chapter number one. The book of Matthew, chapter one. Let's start reading from verse number eighteen. Matthew chapter 1 from verse number 18. I want to show you something there. Hmm. Very deep, my dear listener out there. He said there, Now the birth of Yahushua HaMashiach was on this wise. Hmm. Mm -hmm. When as his mother Mary was exposed, that is to Joseph, that is to say they were about to get, you know, together with, with Joseph. Before they came together, that is before they came together, she was found. Hmm. With child of the what? Ruach HaKadash. What? Did you see something is about to happen here? Before they came together, before Joseph came together with what with Mary, Mary was already found with what would be a, would be pregnant. And you remember what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah? That there's going to be a sign. This sign is going to be something that is going to baffle. It's going to be something that is going to put every everything into what into a, into a different mindset, into thinking completely different. They are going to be. This is going to be what something something marvelous. I mean, they don't they can they don't know how to do what to stand about with that. Listen to what the word says. Say, then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of Yahuwah appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which she is conceived of her is what is of the Ruach HaKadash. Do not be afraid to take her into what as your wife. Why? Because that pregnancy, what you're saying, is what is a conception that took place. What is what is a sign? It is something that is what that is different. That nobody, they don't. They, they, this is what is going to do. What is going to revolution? Is going to change everything on what on the universe? It's going to disprove every. Oh, e, 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 you need to understand what is going on. It's going to. Put all their science, all their technology, all whatsoever knowledge they have ever known. It's going to do it. It's going to turn it into what? Into a piece of trash. Because he's going to do. He's going to put everything to end. He's coming in that form. He's disproving every single scientific knowledge, every single thing that they have ever known. It's going to do what? It's going to be a sign. Listen to what the word said. He said, but why he thought these things? Behold, the angel of Yahuwah appeared unto him in a dream. Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived of her is what is is of the Ruach, Ruach HaKadash. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushua, for he shall save his people from their sins. 
Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the of 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 the master by the prophet. This this thing that is happening is to be fulfilled what was spoken to Isaiah the prophet that what is going to happen that there's going to be a sign. It is going to be what there's going to be something that is going to disprove every other scientific thing that they've ever put out there in the unit they've ever Come out. Listen to what the word says. Here. Behold, this was what was said to what to the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, say, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted Elohim with us. That is telling us what what is going to do. What who this passage of the scripture alone you know the coming of Yahushua in this form disproves all every single scientific theory that they have ever put out there in the world in the cosmos in the universe all the scientific theory that all these people put your, your traditional your what your your scientific your sorcerers your every single theory they have ever put out there this is what disproves them all and turn all their knowledge into what into foolishness the coming of Yahushua in this form that a virgin this was the sign this was the sign that was being given to to prophet Isaiah and say look this is going to be the sign because it was this when this happened when he comes in this form he is going to disprove any kind of scientific theory any kind of traditional belief any kind of thing on the face of the universe he's going to do what he's going to put it to nothing and this is why you see a lot of people who do not know what is going on. They are trying to say that the virgin birth, that, that Yahushua came to the through, 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 through the birth of Joseph and Mary. You are so ignorant, you don't know what you're talking about. Because the birth of Yahushua is what is a sign. It is something that showed who he is. It is something that was that had to come in that for me in order to do what to disprove every single thing on the face of what of the universe because it is going to do what is going to change the course of everything if you are talk you, you see a lot of the you see some of these them Torah teachers trying to do what trying to disprove trying to disprove the virgin the virgin but they don't know nothing about what they are talking about because the virgin but it is something that has what it is the virgin but has revolutionized everything that you're seeing he's coming made it made everything to do what make all these them scientists to be what to be to be to be zero they don't make them and turn them into foolishness they into fools because now everything that they've ever known all the theory that they've ever put out there is now what is it's now nonsense and you don't know you you're here talking about you know that that um, that uh, Yahushua came through the, the birth of uh, Joseph and Mary. You don't know what you're talking about. You are blind. Whoever you are, you are blind. Like you are blind to the core. You don't know your like your left from right because you don't know what you're talking. If you if you don't know what the, the birth, the, how Yahushua came. If you don't believe in what in the birth of Yahushua being what through a virgin, you don't know what you're talking about. Because his coming in this one was a sign. Was a sign that's going to disprove every civilized, everything that you have ever known. But your traditional belief, what your whatsoever your scientists believe, your knowledge, and every single thing. It's this has, has been disproved by the coming of Yahushua in that form. Go and check and see what is really going on. You, you are blind. You all this the Torah you are trying. You better be what be aware and know what you're talking about when you talk about you know that Yahushua is be, came through the birth of Joseph and uh, through the meeting of Joseph. You are so ignorant. So, like I said, you've seen what you've seen. In the heavenly places, there are signs, the signs and the wonders. You know, the signs in the heavenly places. You know, you see the sun, you see the moon, you see them stars. These are signs that are in the heavenly places. Now on earth, there are signs. This signs is you know the construction which you saw the way. 
that this them pyramid till today the scientists and all these them people cannot be able to do what to phantom they don't know about how these things came to be how those stones were being taken from the place where they are to the place where they you know they, they have been set you know all these things how this how, how electricity is even found in the in the pyramid there in inside of the pyramid and how everything the constellation how the the pyramid itself from the point from each point you know to the sun and from that point to the moon everything has the same angle you know the same measurement and everything the distance from the sun is equal to the distance from the sun to the moon and it's also equal to the distance from the sun to what to the point of that pyramid and everything don't you see all this thing this thing makes them to do what to baffle them all so this one, the building of this, the pyramid, what you're seeing is what is a sign that the most I also put there, you know, it's a wonder to what to all these them scientists, is what keeps them, you know, amazed. How did this happen? Now there's another wonders, another sign, another marvelous sign, which has been prophesied already by what, by through a sire, that a virgin, somebody who never knew no man, is going to conceive. And it's going to bring forth a son. It's going to bring forth a child. And that is what that is the son. That is somebody who is going to disprove. The birth of that is going to disprove everything that has ever existed. Every scientific knowledge we have ever thought about. And that is exactly what happened. And the moment that took place, what happened? You see that what the, all the whole world turned around. Because his coming is what is a sign. This is why he said in that in the book of Isaiah there that what that this is going to be a sign. That a virgin, this is a sign. That a virgin, this sign is a virgin. Somebody who has never known a man is going to take in, is going to take in. And this thing never occurred before to them. They've never seen such thing before. So when these things happen, this thing disproves all everything which what they ever believe, what they ever put out there. And the third sign that are on earth here, and you see in this earth right here, we're going to, I'm going to be showing you what is what what is the third sign that is right here on earth. You now to be able to show you that what well, that everything that you see going on, the fact that I am we are here teaching you the truth, bringing the knowledge of truth to you. This is also a sign. If you don't know it, you have to know it today. This is a sign. Because the mysteries which I'm bringing to you now, which we, me and my brethren are bringing out to you now, these are what, these are deeper mysteries that are what that are in the ancient, the, the, the people with, you know, those who have a small knowledge about what we're saying, they cannot be able to do what to give it to you. So they wonder, how do we come into this kind of knowledge? So for the very fact that we are, I'm bringing this to you, to you, and my brethren out there are bringing the same message out to you, to you, shows that what we are the signs of this time. Go with me into the book of Isaiah. I want to show you something in the book of Isaiah. Chapter number 8, from verse 18, it said, Behold, I and the children whom Yahuwah Allah have given, given me are for signs, and for wonders in why where where are they going to be signs of wonder in israel given to me are for signs for wonders in what in israel so they'll tell you what 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 you need to understand is for the fact that we are here now giving you the concrete understanding the deeper mysteries of the kingdom giving you the revelation of the scripture this is what this is a sign on its own this is a sign this is a wonder because they cannot be able to find out how did we come. They are like, how did we come to this knowledge? Because they never give it out to nobody. How did you come to this knowledge of things that you're bringing out here now? This is what, this is a sign. We are signs of this time. And wonders. Because the work of the Most High Yahuwah is what is resting upon us. So we are bringing out some mysteries that are what that are in the in the in the kingdom of Allah. We are now bringing it forth to you, for those of you who can be able to do what to accept what it is, you know, to accept the truth. This is what talking about the mystery things, the signs. We are the signs of this time. Talking to all these them brothers, you know, you know, all these them cousins who are trying to do what to display. They, they are trying whatsoever they can, you know. To try to disprove the virgin birth 
all of them are going hard and saying that what Joseph had to have the sexual intercourse with Mary before the Yahushua had to come. These people are what they are on in the air or they don't know what they are talking about. They've been, their mind has been corrupted. Believe me. Because they are still on a lower vibration. Unless you are in a different level, you will not be able to do what to comprehend and understand. You can't be able to understand the deeper mysteries of the kingdom. So you have to be elevated. And when you are elevated, you can see this. The virgin blood was a sign. Which is going to be which is going to disprove every every scientific knowledge, everything that they have ever thought about. Because those signs have always been there. Different signs have been there. But this one is something that disproves everything. In the heavens there are signs. On earth there are signs. We are here. For the very fact that we are preaching and bringing this knowledge is what is to show you who we are. That we are what we, we, are, we are from. You, we are what we are the chosen. We are the signs of this time. I hope you get it, you know, to those all my brothers who are lovers of the truth, you know, so that they can be able to do what you have the time to be able to do what to pray the most time. To give you a higher, a higher revelation to be able to come to this knowledge of truth. And do not let, let the, all these them people who do not know their left from right in order to do what, in order to push you into something they know nothing about. Any teacher that tried to tell you about the virgin but being something negative or being, being, uh, being something that has to go through, through Joseph and Mary caught that demon out. He know nothing what he's talking about. Shalom.